Hello, Times Cryptic, let's go. Timeless non fiction book. I think this is Ruth. So, non fiction is truth. Timeless means without T, the abbreviation for time. And that leaves Ruth, which is a book in the Bible. Lowland newspaper in competing field. Nope. Move round capital of Iceland, city in Europe. This is Turin. Move is turn. Round, around, capital of Iceland. That's the initial letter of Iceland, I. That gives Turin, which is a city in Europe, in Italy. Rogue reformist, fanned flames. Rogue looks like an anagram indicator for reformist. And R in third place, with the definition being fanned flames question mark. Nope, not getting that. No, okay. Opening flower, marvellous. Money invested in new business. No. Note tenor fluffed nearer to the coda. Gosh, no idea. Grave, a resting place for listener. No. Island, one south of hot country. Gosh, tricky one today. Number wearing jewellery chattering. A common mathematical expression. Big noise from Piper before month on strike. Itinerant getting on beyond route. Getting on could be ageing. Itinerant. I feel this, this is correct, but we'll find out when we get some across answers in. Sir, gone abroad. I think this is an and lit clue where you read the clue twice, once for the definition and once for the word play. So abroad is an anagram indicator for sir gone. And then signora is Italian or Spanish for sir. A matching pair, boy and his namesake, less alike, ultimately. No. Nope. Unremarkable actions, helping criminal. Probably ends ing. Unremarkable. Nothing something. Actions. Helping criminal. I think criminal is probably an anagram indicator for actions helping. And we're looking for unremarkable. That does contain the letters for nothing. With P-L-E. A-C-I-S. E-L-P. A-C-I-S. Nothing special. Fantastic. Often helpful to get the longer ones in towards the beginning of the puzzle. Intoxicated in snug. Nope. Expression I had in mind initially about love. Surely this is idiom. So, an idiom is an expression. I had is often shortened to I'd or can be. In, mind initially. Well, the initial letters of in mind are I and M. About love, about zero. Love being zero in tennis. Comrade of Robespierre's, an English novelist. 
I think this is Amos. Rube Spear is French, and a comrade could be a friend. Well, French for friend is Ami, and the apostrophe S at the end of Rube Spear tells us to add an S to Ami. And then Kingsley Amos and Martin Amos are both English novelists. Important people. Monarch and child welcomed by servants. Nope. A common mathematical expression. Wow, no idea. Wood and, in the absence of meat, cranberry jam. Wow. This is a challenge today. Big noise, already looked at that. Let me have a look at some across clues. Fish, that's fat. Dropping by. Fat is flab, drop flabby. Dropping by would leave flab, but I don't think flab means fish. Stubby could also mean fat, so could blobby. Well, I think that's how the clue works. I just haven't haven't come across the correct word for fat. Hours quite polluted. How might the sea appear? Well, polluted looks like an anagram indicator for hours quite. So how might the sea appear? Turquoise. Yes, fantastic. Is that going to speed things up? The Q not a crossing letter, unfortunately. I'm going to continue looking at the acrosses, given how how time-consuming it's been so far. Tongue found in mouth. No. Well, I wonder if this is estuary English. Estuary is the mouth of a river, and estuary English is a tongue, as in a language or a way of speaking a language. Now, I have got some more crossing letters, so... Let me have a look at some of the downs. Rogue reformist. This still looks like an anagram of reformist. And it means fanned flames. No, not getting that. Opening flower. Marvellous. Money invested in new business. Nope. Note tenor fluffed, nearer to the coda. So I think note is probably a two-letter musical note. Then fluffed is an anagram indicator for tenor. We've used T and R, so it probably ends on... Probably ends on with an E here. The whole thing means nearer to the coda. Let me consider the musical notes. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Oh gosh, none of those work. I'm going to leave it in for the moment. On reflection, self-regard in a god reaching high point. Yeah, I wonder if this is apogean. So... Self-regard is ego. On reflection is a reversal indicator. So ego reversed in a god, in a pan, pan being a god from classical times. And then apogean must mean reaching the high point. I think an apogee must be a high point. Okay, still, we do have more letters in two and three down, but they're not particularly helpful letters. Grave, resting place for listener. Yes, this is nice. This is earnest. So, earnest means grave, and listener refers to the ear. So a resting place for the ear could be an ear nest. A common mathematical expression. 
Aha. Vulgar fraction. So, I think this is a cryptic definition in that there isn't the usual separation between wordplay and definition. The whole thing is a definition, but a misleading one. So, common doesn't mean frequent or often, it means vulgar. And a vulgar fraction is one where the where the numerator is higher than the denominator. One in eight, say, added to half of that in picture. This is thrower. So one in eight is a rower because you have eight rowers in a rowing boat. Added to half of that, well, half of the word of that is the initial two letters, T and H. So TH plus rower gives thrower which is a picture. Island, one south of hot country. Wow, what is this? Haiti fits the letter pattern. One could be I, hot could be H, but does AIT mean country? No, it doesn't, but it is, it is Haiti because Island is eight, A-I-T, another spelling of E-Y-O-T, which means an island. One is I, south of hot, south of H, the abbreviation for hot, and then Haiti is a country. Fish, that's fat. Ah, fat is chubby. Okay, so chubby without by leaves chub, which is a fish. Number, wearing jewellery, chattering. Gosh, what is this? I thought with these letters in, it would be stra fairly straightforward. So, number, I think is number, as in ether, an anaesthetic, something which makes you go numb. Wearing jewellery, five letter jewellery and the whole thing means chattering. Blethering jewellery being bling. Fantastic. Now W in 16 down. Itinerant getting on beyond route. This is wayfaring so not ageing. Yeah itinerant wayfaring means itinerant Getting on is fairing, beyond route, beyond way. Don't stop, vehicle, run that. Well, carry on fits the letter pattern and means don't stop. Vehicle is car, run is R, the cricketing abbreviation, and that is yon. Wood, and in the absence of meat, Cranberry jam. Wood could be cops, but I'm not getting the rest. So, well, good progress on the right hand side. Let me come back to the remaining acrosses I haven't looked at. Performance from old lady, character on main platform. No. China tea, this is mate, double definition. China means mate, as in just an English slang term, my old China. And then mate, if that's the way it's pronounced, is a type of tea. Intoxicated in snug. Gosh, I should get this. Intoxicated. Nope. Big noise from Piper before month on strike. Strike could be ram. That would make this clue begin with R. That's not helping. Important people. Monarch and child. 
I wonder if this is personages. It fits the letter pattern. So personages are important people. Monarch is ER, Elizabeth Regina, and child, son, welcomed by servants, welcomed by pages. Fantastic. Does this S help? Wood. And in the absence of meat, cranberry jam. Yes, this is Cyprus. So Cyprus is a, is a tree, so therefore a type of wood. And in the absence of meat, cranberry means take the word cranberry and take out its meat, all of its contents, leaving just the outsides, which are C and Y. And then jam is press. Performance from old lady. Character on main platform. No. Okay, so where to now? Big noise. Already looked at that. Okay, I'm just going to look at the clues in order and hope inspiration strikes 16 minutes down. Lowland newspaper in competing field. So I think we probably have a split between Lowland and newspaper. They will be performing different functions in the clue. So Lowland is probably the definition. Newspaper could be RAG or FT or I in competing field. Not getting that. A matching pair. Boy and his namesake. Less alike ultimately. Well, alike ultimately is probably the ultimate letter of alike, which is E. So something is without E. And the whole thing looks like it means a matching pair. Boy could be any man's name or son. And his namesake, less E. Not getting that. Already looked at that recently. Rogue reformist. This must be where to make progress. It really does look like an anagram of reformist. Fand flames. So we've used S-O-R. What's left is ref mit. Firestorm. Yeah. So that works with the letters. Does it work with the definition? Fanned flames. Firestorm. Yeah, I guess a firestorm could be flames that are fanned. I'm confident this is right. And look at this F and M as crossing letters. Surely we can make progress now. Lowland. Newspaper. FT. In competing field. So does it begin raft? Reft or rift? Rift Valley? Yes. Fantastic. So the Rift Valley is Lowland. Newspaper is FT. In competing, in rival, field, lay, L-E-Y. Opening. Well, let me just put in venture capital. I think this works with the definition. So money invested in new business is venture capital. So the wordplay is opening flower marvellous. Opening is vent. Flower is flower as in river. There is a river you're in England or Scotland or Wales. And then marvellous is capital. And venture capital means money invested in new business. Now, four down, an orphan clue. Nearer to the coda, I think, means just nearer to the end, the coda being something that's added at the end. Note is la, it is the musical note. 
and then fluffed is an anagram indicator for tenor. Fantastic. So just the bottom left to go. Let me do my very quick typo squiz. All the acrosses look as intended. Down's looking okay. Just checking Signore because there are various endings for that, but its ending is checked by personages. Okay, everything looking good. Can we get the final few clues in? And we've got the M for 17 across. A matching pair. Boy and his namesake, Jim Jams. Yes, few. So I'm not sure why Jim Jams means a matching pair because Jim Jams is just a slang term for pyjamas. But moving on swiftly to the wordplay, boy is Jim. And the namesake of Jim is just an alternative word for Jim. So Jim is short for James. So Jim's namesake is James, less the ultimate letter of alike. But why are Jim Jams a matching pair? I guess with pyjamas, your top matches your, your trousers. That's the best I can do. But look at this, a J as a crossing letter. That is a heavenly sight. Big noise. Yes, this is a panjandrum. Let's, let me just pause there because I think it can be spelt with an A or a U. So a panjandrum is a big noise as in an important person, I think. Piper is pan because, well, you have pan pipes. So I, th I think Piper must mean pan. Before month, before Jan, January. On strike, I think drum means strike a drum. And I don't think dram. Ooh, ram means strike. But then we, we're not explaining the D. Big noise from Piper, Pan, before month, Jan, on strike. Does dram mean strike? Pan, dram, strike. I don't think so. I think it's just a, a tot of whiskey. But let me consider the word as, as a whole. Panjandrum or panjandram. I think it can be spelt with a U. I'm going with that. Ooh, ah, oh, not a helpful letter. Performance. From old lady. That's often a reference to ma or dam. Character on main platform. Main is often re a reference to the sea. But what could be a platform on the sea? A crow's nest? And character, what could that be? And the whole thing, performance. If the definition was performance, then old lady would be the beginning of the wordplay. And I can't think of an old lady beginning with R. Well, ah, I think this is rigmarole. Few, if it is. So, rigmarole. Rigmarole means performance. A bit of a performance, a bit of a rigmarole. Old lady is ma. Character is role. On means after. Main platform. Well, a rig is a platform on a boat, I think. Okay, and 21 down must be tight. Intoxicated certainly is tight. And does tight mean snug? Yes, a tight fit, a snug fit. So fantastic. There we go. Every clue solved. Every clue explained. No empty squares. Submit. Submit. Hope and pray. No errors. Fantastic. Wow, that was a... Well, I found a bit of a rough ride. I got off to a splendid start with Ruth and then hit heavy weather immediately which really seemed to hold me back for a large part of the puzzle and then 
something obviously happened. I must have got a clue in or something which opened the drawer the door to speedier progress and the final time quite reasonable for a times puzzle but absolutely beautiful puzzle as always from the times and it doesn't matter how hard you think the times puzzle is when you get to the end you have to take your your hat off and acknowledge the the setter and the editors of the times puzzle because none of the clues leave you feeling that was a bad clue and it's one of the one of the great qualities of the times crossword is that you can have such reliance that the clues are sound that when you finally do understand them you can say yes that was a fair challenge and the problem was me not the clue anyway superb stuff today i would say the snitch for that probably in the 70s or 80s anyway i hope you enjoyed watching that solve like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time Thank you.